So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So the hard count gets them there. Neutral zone infraction. Yeah, the defense thought they had the timing down, but the quarterback hit them with a hard count, got them to jump. From the two-yard line now, it's first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, we just saw the recipe for success right there. Big body, strong, agile, playing with great leverage and hands. Not really able to be blocked on that play. Close things down inside. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Here's Rawls. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Thomas Rawls taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to now to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Blunt, the lone running back. Again, you see the pistol here. They go back to the air here after the INT. And as we sit on the doorstep now of week 13, need to talk playoff picture. Let's look at the AFC. The Patriots at 9 and 2. The Raiders at 9 and 2. I don't know that they're getting the credit they deserve. So many people talking about New England. I would agree with that. They're having that type of a season, their first winning season since 2002. They had their sights set a lot higher than that now. But how about Kansas City? They went to Oakland earlier this year and beat them by 16 points. So head-to-head, -head, the Chiefs know that they're one of those teams that you've got to beat in the playoffs. And coming up, he rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Week 12 for Baldwin playing back in his home state. He's from the Pensacola area. Seven catches for just 34 yards. And that's unusual for him because his run after catch ability helps separate him from other receivers because he can catch it, make a move, run through traffic because he's a strong guy. So when you hold him to 34 yards on seven catches, you're doing something right on defense. And Hauschka's kick is good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. This is fielded a couple yards deep. So the Patriots coming out now. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Get 
Now Brady throwing on second down. Screen pass to Blood. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Here's Brady. And that's complete to Lewis. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A nice pick up there. Ten yards. And it'll move the sticks. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Again, it's Brady. And his throw is incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And it's third and five. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Again, they'll throw with Brady. A bullet throw, but incomplete. The new acquisition, Martellus Bennett, the intended target. And that brings up fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Jaron Reed breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But I also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On first down, Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. That'll bring up second down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Again on second and ten. It's Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Kurz. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, there really wasn't much there, but a completion is a completion. A tough third down awaits them. On third down, Wilson. It's caught outright by Graham. For Graham, he hauled in six catches in week 12, 67 yards. And by the way, a happy belated birthday to Mr. Graham. Turned 30 on November 24th. Oh, that's very nice of you. You're so considerate. I like that. Oh, thanks. And I'll you know what here all week. And you know what else he really liked? What? His health. Yeah, absolutely. He is back. Sound. He's running around like the Jimmy Graham we knew in New Orleans and making those big time plays where he goes over the top of everyone to catch the ball. Now, after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that and that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown. New England, Danny Amendola, 75 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety, 
You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. Yeah. He put it through the post. That's going to help him the contract. Looking for Baldwin intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Edelman, the motion man right. So after the INT, it's Brady. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Shipped together here from the D-line. In motion, Gronkowski. Brady to throw on second down. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds big 87. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Gronk, the tight end, in motion. On play action, now Brady. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. Eight yards still remaining here on third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off the drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. This is caught. Gronkowski. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And Brady will sneak it. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Tom Brady in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots have retaken the lead. Well, someone has a sense of the dramatic here, don't they? Scoring this late in the half to take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, you do have to bring that up, don't you? In the NFL, every play is critical. If you give up something cheap there, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here. 